Today, guys, we are going to be going over all of these secondary target locations in the Cayo Perico heist, and I'm also going to give you guys a few tips on what to do in the heist and also when you guys are just trying to find the loot in this little intel mission. And then, of course, I'm going to show you guys all the loot locations in the actual giant mansion at the end of the video. With that said, I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. The very first location is going to be at the hangar. You guys are going to want to start here and follow every single place I go to. So right away, you guys want to run straight to the back. And at this table, you will actually find one or two things that you could steal. Now, it could be anything. It could be the cash. It could be weed. It could be any of those. For me, I found the coke. So you guys just want to take a picture of that and send it to Pavel. And now on that other table right there, there's a chance you will also find something. You might see some empty tables and sometimes you might not. Sometimes there's going to be loot there for you guys and sometimes there won't be. It all depends on the mission itself, but you guys will have to see when you're actually doing the heist. There's also one more spot where some loot will spawn in the hangar. If you guys just make your way over to this ladder and then climb up on top, you'll find another little cage in the back with some more loot on the table. As you guys can see this time, there is two different loots that I have here and both tables are filled up. So that means extra money for me. Now, of course, the ones that you will want to steal, number one, are going to be gold and artwork. They'll give you the most money. But in terms of the other loot you can find, the number one best one you can get is going to be cocaine between cash, cocaine, and weed cocaine will sell for the most amount of money you'll get the most amount of money from that so try to get cocaine when you guys are actually doing the heist and if you find a lot of it that's great for you the next location is also at the airport if you run into this shed right here you will see another two tables there might be two pieces of loot there might be one for me i just got one but lucky for me it was not cash obviously you do not want cash most of the time i do end up getting cash right here but the location for all of this of course is at the airport right here and then you guys can see the two in the hangar i would also highly suggest you guys grab a bike instead of the cars the cars absolutely suck and there is so many trees and bushes that you're going to try to drive through that won't let you drive through them bikes just make it a lot easier so try to find a bike right away this next location i forgot to show the actual point of where it is on the map but pretty much just drive down the road from the airport and then it's the first docks you see and right when you come over here there is a shed right here and you will find two more pieces of loot or secondary targets on the tables if you find two that's great if you find one that's not that bad you still get some loot i guess but yeah, there is two more secondary targets right here. There are another two locations for secondary targets at the first docks you go to take a look at. The first one or the second one right here is going to be at this little room. Now you can find up to three inside of here. For me, I only found two of them. You might see all of the tables full, but sadly for me, I only got two out of three. But I did still find some coke. And I think that is still pretty good because it does sell for a lot. Now, the next location is just around the bend on the other side of the docks where you just were. So you're going to want to make your way back on over there. And you will find another little door at this little warehouse kind of thing right here. And then you'll be able to see another secondary target in here. Now, you guys are able to find two in here, just like I did right here. You can see both tables are completely filled up, which means more money for me in the end. So hopefully you guys also find another two targets here. So that means you can find up to seven targets at the first docks, which is pretty damn amazing. So you guys are definitely going to want to make your way over to this dock right here and find all of this loot. The next target, you're just going to want to drive down the road. Watch out for guards because there will be a lot of them at this area. You can find another two secondary targets inside here behind this cage. Now, of course, to get into these cages, you will need bolt cutters. You can find them all around the map. There is one location at the actual docks we were just at, and it is pretty much right in front of the warehouse. But yeah, we found another two secondary targets here. And also, just a little teaser, this truck right here, you can also take a picture of it and send it to him. It's just a truck you can find if you need it. So definitely take a picture of this thing because it will come in handy in the actual heist. The next location is right here behind this cage door. You can find up to another three secondary targets inside of this room. Lucky for me, I did find three of them. So that's perfect for me. That means more money because that's what I like to see. But yeah, there are another three targets right in here. And if you guys are curious of where this location is, it is located right here on the map. By the way, guys, be careful not to get caught too much or else the guards will send you back to Los Santos like what just happened to me. So just don't run out into the open too much. So then this will not happen to you. And now I'm back at the island and the next loot location is going to be right inside here you can find another two different secondary targets inside of this room sadly i did only find one but hey it's nighttime now which means it's harder for guards to see me 
so now I will not be seen ever again because I can blend in very well. But yeah, there is another target located right here, just around the same location where you found the last ones. Just make sure you don't get seen by guards just because there is a very good chance that will happen. There is a lot of guards at this other dock. And the final secondary target location is located right here in this shed in the exact same area. You can find another two tables with cash or whatever you guys find right in the back over here. And then you guys have found all of the secondary targets. Now there of course is the option to find a loot, which you obviously need to find. So we're going to get into that in just a second. And if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, be sure to smash a like on it and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the loot inside of the mansion. Make your way over to the connection tower, whatever it's called, and let's just zoom through some of these cameras really quickly to make our way inside of the giant mansion villa sort of thing. The first thing you will see is some artwork on the wall. This is obviously the first loot you will find. Now the thing with the mansion is sometimes there will be loot and sometimes there won't be loot. That's kind of weird. Like for instance, sometimes this table that you guys just saw right there won't have anything on it or sometimes it will. It really depends on the actual mission. Sometimes you'll find it and sometimes you won't. But yeah, lucky for us, we got artwork and we got cash right there. This camera angle, we got some gold. Now in the mansion, your main goal is to steal all the gold and obviously steal the Madrazo files or whatever you need to steal in the very end. Another location where it could spawn is going to be right here on this table. You can probably find some more cash or some gold sitting on this table. Hopefully you guys find gold because that obviously that is what you want to steal. Now right here on this wall right there, you guys can find another piece of artwork and right there you can find some cash as well. Hopefully you find a lot of artwork and gold. That's what you really, really just what you want. You don't want anything else except artwork and gold. Right there you can find some more cash as well and then right here again you can find another piece of artwork and we found some more gold sitting on the table right there. And now we make our way inside the office on the right wall right there. You could see we could find some artwork. Sadly, it did not spawn in for us, which really sucks because that is another amazing spot to get artwork. And you can also find a key card on this table in the actual heist. Just remember that when you're actually doing the heist, it's very helpful so you can open one of the rooms. Also inside the office, there is another spot where artwork will spawn on this wall to the right, right over here. Sadly, it did not spawn in for me. If you guys get lucky, you might find artwork there and on the other side of this wall uh, in this little office building. But now let's make our way into the next camera angle. You can also find some loot sitting on the table right here. And if you make your way to the other side, you should be able to find a little bit more loot sitting on the table. And then also you may find artwork here. I highly doubt that on the wall right there. Once you get inside here, you guys can see we have to steal the ruby necklace. If you're doing this heist for the first time, you won't be stealing this. This is for the second time you do the heist. But yeah, ruby necklace is right there. And obviously inside of this safe is where the Madrazo files are located. You will get $1,100,000 for the Madrazo files and only a million dollars for the ruby necklace. So your payout actually goes down after you complete the heist one time, which kind of does suck. But after that, you guys have now found all the locations for all of the money you can steal, all the gold, all the artwork, and all of that crap. Now, it might actually be higher or it might be lower than what I get. Obviously, if you guys find lots of gold, lots of artwork, and lots of cocaine, you guys will get a lot of money when you complete this heist. But if you only find weed and you only find cash and barely any gold, any artwork, you're not going to be getting a lot of money, which really, really sucks. And there's, I don't think there's any way to restart this mission. Plus, you wouldn't want to because it takes a really long time. And another little helpful hint that'll help you out, once you complete this, you have to return back to Los Santos. Just go get seen by one of the guards and they'll throw you all the way back to the airport or to the little beach party that you spawn at. Just so then you guys don't have to drive all the way back there and continuously try to hide from the guards. Just make sure you don't do this on like your sixth time getting caught by them or they'll throw you back to Los Santos and you'll have to restart the mission, I believe. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully this does help you out when you actually do this heist. Let me know down below in the comment section after you guys do this intel mission, how much can you actually steal? Go back to your submarine. The amount that I could steal was 3.8 million for the secondary targets and a million for the ruby necklace. Let me know down below. Did you guys get more or did you guys get less? Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.